Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back. This episode is a day in the life raising island kids. We've been sharing our lives with you online for almost a year now. We've actually been raising two beautiful children on this island for over four years. It's a pretty crazy life here, but they don't know any different. Who's that in the camera? are probably quite different to yours. Our kids are petrified of domestic animals, cats and dogs, but they would swim with our sharks happily, no worries. Many of you following along with our story would know how important family life is to us. Remote island living with kids comes with many challenges. Obviously, we're very isolated from friends and family. Uh, access to healthcare can be quite difficult. And having kids on an island like this means you have to take extra precautions and there are added stresses when something goes wrong. But the point of this episode is actually to share with you how incredible an alternative family lifestyle can be and how wonderful it's been for us so far raising island kids. Our youngest, our daughter Ophelia, just turned three and her birthday was a prime example of what it is like raising island kids. What are those? <gasps> Hold them up. What are they? Oh, you swimmers! Oh. And what did you want to do in the morning on your birthday, Philly? Sing do you want to wear your new swimmers? Mm. I think these will attract the mantis for sure. What do you think, Arlo? Yeah. I think our enthusiasm for the ocean and wildlife generally excites the kids, but we do also have to deal with disappointments. We try not to promise experiences with animals because obviously that's out of our control. Both the kids are actually very tolerant of waiting in anticipation of something and sometimes like on this day when there were no manta rays, we actually used the drone to check and discovered some interesting action in the lagoon. It's a bit difficult to see, but it's actually a massive ray. We think maybe a cow ray or a bull ray. If you can help us ID it, make sure you leave a comment below. There's also giant trevally and other fish circling and possibly feeding on something here. The ray is stirring up the sand using its enormous wings. The kids patiently sat with us to film this and when the chance for mantas was long gone, we decided to throw a few squid jigs in hope that we might catch some lunch. Hey, what are we doing? <laughs> Ditch the mantas. We're fishing for squid. Oh no, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one grabbed it. You got a jig without a hook.
the end of this snorkel, we could actually hear dolphins in the passage. We were over here on the lagoon side, so we jumped in a boat and burned over so that we could have a little play with the dolphins. This is one of those examples of where raising island kids just makes you way more flexible and just makes you seize every opportunity for adventure. footprints. One, two, three, four. That's weird. What does that look like? What do you think number one looks like? Oh, it's raining. They're standing under a dripping leaf roof. What does number one, what does this look like? Could that be our house? Could that be Koi? Maybe yeah. they left a message at Koi. We go take our swimmers off, look for a message at Koi. What's going on? <laughs> Whoa. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, that's a nice snuggle cuddle.
tricked ya. That's so cool. And look, Billy, what's it got here? What are these? We just saw them. We was just playing with them, wasn't it? Big boys. Dolphin. Wow, dolphin, that's cool. What do you mean pink? Are oh, the blue? I think that matches the fairy footprints map. See? Blue. Blue. Whoa, that means what colour's the next one gonna be? Blue. Wow. Pink or blue. No, it's gonna be? Blue. Okay. Going for the green clue. says, the fairies left a special gift for Ophelia in the fairy tree. All, this, all the clues together give us another clue. There's a present somewhere for you from, from the fairies, Billy. In a fairy tree. Check around the fairy tree. Love it. Can't believe our baby girl's three. <laughs> it's been such a crazy day. It has been. It's hard work raising a mermaid. We've been in the water <laughs> all day. All day today. We had a manta search. We That's went dolphin action. We went for a snorkel already. There's only been cake and a bit of playing in between, and now we're going for another snorkel. An oopy point snorkel. Well, that's what you wanted on your birthday, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs>
across the street Flies in their faces and nothing on their feet These little ones will be lucky if they breathe for a couple years And the women laugh from their cages in Bombay Thanks so much for joining us guys. If, if you, you are new here, please subscribe, join the tribe. Like button. the video, leave some comments below. Do if you'd like to, yeah, if you'd like to know more about island life, feel free to ask any questions in the comments below. And we'll see you next week. Leana. Leana. We're cleaning up after our ancestors' mistakes for a hundred years.